Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Corey from Corey's Tech Time, and today we're looking at the Fossil Gen 6. So I did a video on this in November, and I ultimately returned it, uh, just using it for a couple weeks. Uh, that was because of a couple things. Uh, one being it was running Wear OS 2, and the software I felt at the time was very buggy. Uh, the second thing was that it was pretty pricey. It was $299 at the time, which I felt for it running uh, old software, uh, it was just a bit too much for me. So I ultimately returned it back. Um, also, I have the Fossil Gen 5, but in December, I started having issues with the Fossil Gen 5. So I went ahead and picked it up and been using it ever since then. So been using this for a couple months now and um, I must say that I do like the watch uh, as far as the design was never an issue for me so just looking at the watch I think it's beautiful I like this um, I like this uh, watch face and just the way that it feels it has like a little bit of heft to it um, and it's made of like stainless steel so I definitely like that uh, the band is okay, it's just uh, your standard silicone band, but it definitely gets the job done. Um, when I initially bought this device, it was running uh, Wear OS 2, but the update was from July, and in December I got uh, the latest update. So there was definitely some bugs in the initial release, and ever since then, I feel like it's been working a lot better. So I'm definitely happy that I have it now, but at $300, I, it's still kind of hard for me to recommend with it running Wear, Wear OS 2. Uh, if it runs and when it runs Wear OS 3, I will have no problems with uh, recommending this watch. Um, I definitely recommend it now if you can get it on sale, um, but full price uh, right now is is a it's a tough sell for me um, so since since the initial release I noticed a couple things has happened with Wear OS one they started rolling out some Wear OS 3 elements to it so the Play Store received a bit of an update so it looks a little bit different now and it resembles Wear OS 3 and I like how it looks and the performance on this chip, this 4100 chip, is really nice, fast and fluid. Also, in settings, there's another area where Google has made some updates to give it like a Wear OS 3 look, and that's under, I think it's general, or maybe it's, oh, app and notifications. Go there again, go to show all. And once it loads up, you can see that there is still, there's like a sprinkle of like Wear OS 3. So hopefully they update other elements of the watch because in most areas it does resemble the old Wear OS 2. And that is my biggest gripe with the watch. Um, so just getting into things I like. I like the design, I like how how smooth the UI is, and I do like the UI for, for the Wear OS 2 watch. Also, um, I like that it has a speaker, the speaker is nice and loud. Um, I like how fast the Google Assistant responds, and um, I like that it's, it has sleep tracking, and also it has um, blood saturation um, where you can check that as well. So. So yeah, as far as the, the watch goes, I mean, it's solid. I like it. Um, it's, it's, it's just a nice watch overall. So again, um, Fossil Gen 6, I definitely recommend it on sale if you can find it. I think right now it is on sale um, at Best Buy for like 230. So if you can get it for that, I think this is, um, this is a, like not a must buy, but it's a, it's a good buy. And um, once it gets World West 3, I will have no problem with recommending this watch. So that's it for this one, guys. 
If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you have any comments, feel free to, to leave that as well. And with that guys, peace.